just when you thought the portable avionics revolution couldn't get any more intense or any more innovative. We now see the 400 series Garmin's now giving way to the 600 series. Here we have a chance to take a look, an early look, at the 695 and 696. When you thought this stuff just couldn't get any wilder, here it is. Well, Garmin's excited to, uh, to bring out the, uh, the 695 and 696 series products uh, to the aviation industry. Um, this is the, uh, the largest portable product that we've uh, brought to market thus far. It, uh, it is actually uh, three times uh, larger than our popular 296, 396, 495, and 496 series products. Uh, seven inch diagonal display. It's a, uh, a bright uh, TFT LCD display with actually high brightness uh, LCD backlighting. Uh, that makes it uh, tremendously uh, good in uh, sunlight, and so there are no problems whatsoever with uh, sunlight readability. The, uh, the, the overall display contains a lot of the uh, same features that we have in our popular uh, 496 uh, series of products, and uh, with that, it, uh, it's a, a phenomenal product, and I uh, look forward to, uh, to bringing it out to the market. The, uh, the mechanical specifications, the, uh, the product is, uh, weighs in just under four pounds. Um, like I said, the, the display itself is uh, seven inches diagonal, and uh, it uh, comes with a uh, cigarette lighter adapter, a uh, wall charger for, uh, for uh, using it at home and charging the battery at home. Uh, you actually get up to uh, three hours of battery life uh, on full backlighting. Uh, if you lower the backlighting or take out the XM antenna, the power draw is uh, significantly less. You can get up to, uh, to eight hours of battery life under those circumstances. And uh, we also provide a uh, yoke mount bracket, a uh, uh, cover for the, uh, the unit itself, and uh, uh, really comes fully loaded out of the box, ready to fly. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its VTAIL design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at CirrusDesign.com. Uh, the, the 696 is a whole new series of functionality, uh, including uh, flight charts, which is your uh, NACO approach chart data, uh, airways, a uh, huge moving map which allows you to, uh, to not only see a moving map but also display our popular panel page simultaneously. Uh, we have the traditional uh, terrain page but we've also added a terrain profile view. Um, in addition to all the traditional XM weather services, we've recently added uh, icing, turbulence and pyrup reports as part of the XM data set. And uh, the, uh, there's a new click stick also uh, as part of the overall design. So a lot of our customers have gotten accustomed to the, uh, a rocker keypad design. And with the, uh, with the 696, 695 series products, uh, this new joystick uh, click stick makes for very rapid uh, data entry and maneuvering around the unit itself. Uh, we've added uh, soft key implementation for the easy operations of the most popular functions and features. Uh, operationally, it's, uh, it's a little bit more like our uh, G600 and G1000 products, which have be, become uh, extraordinarily popular in the marketplace. In addition to that, we also have added the, uh, a satellite map view, uh, which gives you a kind of a satellite image pictorial of your airplane moving over the ground. In addition to all the, uh, the tr traditional databases, like I said before, terrain, obstacles, uh, safe taxi is also included, uh, the AOP airport directory is included. Um, all of this is going to be updatable through, uh, through Garmin's new flygarmin.com website. And uh, in general, that's, uh, that's kind of a quick overview of some of the more recent functionalities and features. Okay, we are cleared for our approach. Have our Garmin GPS set up to fly the LPV. And look, here comes the glide path. Now you're probably wondering how we can intercept a glide path when there's no ILS on the field. Well, hey, that's the beauty of WASP GPS. No ILS, no localizer, no problem. WASP gives us full vertical guidance even without ground-based navigates. Okay, next you're probably wondering why there's spit all over your side of the windshield. From a functionality standpoint, it is a, a giant moving map that allows you to scale the map and zoom in and get more details. As you zoom in to a certain point, uh, to a certain zoom scale, we actually add this nice arc view presentation at the top, which has been very popular with our uh, 396 and 496 series products. Uh, some of the other nice functions that we've added for the, uh, the 695 and 696 series here is the ability to access data, and we'll zoom in a little bit tighter here, 
and just get a whole plethora of information. You see the towers and obstacles coming up. Uh, we've got a, a TFR displayed here. We're uh, showing the airplane down in Orlando area right now, and that's the, uh, the Disneyland TFR. I can actually click on the joystick now, brings my arrow alive, and that allows me to access a, a whole wide variety of information. And uh, just like we've done before, put the uh, cursor inside of there, and it'll display exactly what that particular piece of information is. In this case, it's the, uh, the Disney World TFR. Um, I notice I've got a little green arrow to the right here. Quick click to the right also lets me see, uh, this is a new function here, it, it basically we've got layers of information there. So one nice thing we've done with the joystick implementation is allow easy access to that layered information with a click uh, twist of the uh, the cursor knob allows you to access one, two, three, four, five levels deep of information uh, that may be stacked on top of each other. In addition to all the, the traditional airspace information, class B, class C, class D airspace, special use airports, uh, special use airspace, military operations areas, the uh, TFRs are coming in through the XM uh, data link. And uh, continuing on to the display, um, it really offers a lot of customization uh, that you can do. Uh, menu, as we've done before with other products, allows you to change the page layout and press enter. And you can really customize this a lot of different ways. You can have it however you want. Maybe you want one column of data fields across the top. Uh, maybe you want a second column of data fields across the top. Maybe even a third column uh, across the top. So you can really have uh, data uh, as much as you possibly want there or even add it with the, uh, the popular uh, HSI, if you like that implementation. Or finally, we've got easy access to the, uh, the panel page with one button press there at the bottom, converts the entire top of the display uh, to the, uh, the popular panel page, and then still giving you a nice giant uh, moving map display towards the bottom. Uh, continuing on, the, uh, the operations of the unit are uh, very well organized and you can really see where you're at at any given time. Across the bottom here, we've got a, a readout of uh, where you're at on the display. We're currently on the map page. And just for simplification here, I'm going to go ahead and reset our uh, page layout to a, a more traditional, maybe one row with data fields across the top. But uh, uh, across the bottom here, we can see that we are navigating around the map page. Uh, we also have waypoint information for all your airport data. A uh, dedicated weather page, a uh, dedicated terrain page, dedicated XM page, and then uh, information uh, all the way on the right-hand side for satellite status and such forth. Uh, to navigate through those, it's a simple click twist of the, uh, the knob here of the joystick and allows you to, uh, to get through a lot of that information.